In today's video, we'll be making Lego candies safe for your teeth. And in the end, we'll find out if I was successful in making a candy that will actually pass the pH test. Something that no candy has ever done before. By the end of this video, you'll find out if my DIY candy is safe for your teeth. To start, we need to learn how to make candy at home. So I bought this DIY candy kit to keep it simple. Let's see what's inside. I've never made candy at home before, but I'm a pro bubblegum maker, so let's see how this goes. We got a cherry candy mix, so let's open it up and pour it into the mixing bowl. Pour the mix into a bowl. Now I got myself some boiling hot water, so let's mix it up. One, two, three tablespoons of water. Stir it up until it fully dissolves and there's no more clumps. Once it's at its perfect consistency, smooth and delicious, it's time to grab your molding tray and pour it on in. I'm spreading around the candy mix to make sure each mold has some in it. Once the candy mix is evenly spread across the mold, it's time to throw this in the fridge and let it chill. Once they fully chilled, I pop one out of the mold and it kind of looks pretty good. It's super gummy and chewy, but let's give it a try. Oh! The flavor was delicious on this little guy, but the texture was absolutely disgusting. The texture tastes like moldy cheese, but the flavor, not too bad. I think we can do better. Let's check the pH to see if this DIY at-home candy gives me cavities. A value under five will give me cavities. Ah, it's a two, I'm definitely in the cavity zone. The sugar in this candy feeds the sugar bugs the poop and pee acid, which dissolves your teeth. Trust me, you definitely don't want that happening to your teeth. So let's complete these five goals to build the ultimate cavity-free Lego candy. For our first goal, we need to figure out how to make candy into the shape of Legos. Say hello to Mr. Froggy. Legos are not easy to make because they have an interlocking design. And you can't just pour the candy onto a basic cooking sheet. So I bought these Lego molds off of Amazon. And this mold comes with a back base plate to place over the silicone mold to give Legos its unique building structure. Let's see how these things work. And to keep it simple, we're just gonna melt down some Starburst to pour into the mold to see if we can actually make Lego shaped candy. And just like that, you got peeled Starburst. Time to throw this in the microwave and get it to a nice temperature. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this candy. Anyway, throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds, get it to a nice liquid state, and we're gonna pour them in the mold. Once it's at its perfect consistency, time to pour it into the mold, spread it evenly, and then we're gonna let them cool. Be careful, this stuff is super hot right now. It looks super stringy. These are gonna be the most delicious Legos ever, but the big problem is they will cause cavities, so we gotta stick around to see how we're gonna make them without sugar. We're gonna spread the Starburst across all the molds because we want to make sure we have a nice good looking Lego candy. I'm gonna do this for a few more colors. Let them harden and I'll be right back. While those are hardening, it's time to unlock our next brick. Brick number two. We have to figure out how to make a sweet treat that won't dissolve your teeth away. And I've never made a sugar-free candy before, so let's head over to my favorite AI chatbot, Google Bard. Let's try it out. Hey Google, what are some sugar alternatives that are safe for your teeth? Google Bard's top pick is xylitol because it inhibits the growth of bacteria which results in tooth decay. It's also also naturally occurring and has a low glycemic index which is great for those that have diabetes. Since it says xylitol is the answer, let's give it a try. Let's see what we can do with it and if it'll even taste good. Hey Adriana, come try out this uh, magic powder. We have real sugar and fake sugar. So let's see if we can taste the difference. Can you see anything? No. Uh, uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Scoop us up some sugar. Our goal is to determine if this is real sugar or fake sugar. Here's my spoon. Hey! Three, two, one. It really sweet. Tastes delicious. All right, Adriana, with a spoonful of sugar down, it's time to guess if you had the real or fake sugar. All right, what do you think you had? Yeah, it's a tough one, but I think <laughs> I had sugar. Sugar? Yeah. Um, I think I had the real sugar also. Oh, okay. Mine tasted really sweet. There's no way it could have been anything else. Yeah. All right, mask down. Let's check out the results. Oh, I got mine wrong. That is actually insane. I can't wait to turn this xylitol into a candy. It's going to taste so good. Dude, you got to try some of this stuff. Up. Tell me if you can taste the difference. The taste? It tastes like sugar. <laughs> Delicious. So sweet. <laughs> I would use this all the time. You know what, Adriana, while I still have you here, I made a batch of Starburst flavored Legos earlier, so let's actually pop them out and see how they turned out and if they are Lego approved. Let's check it out. Okay, now that all the bricks have been disassembled, let's see if you can build with them and if they taste any good and if you approve of the shape. Grab your flavor of choice. This one. I'm gonna go for yellow. What do you think of the shape? Pretty impressive. It's got the actual building blocks on the front and it has holes on the back so you can stack them. Before we do the flavor test, let's see if we can build anything. Building approved. Now it's time to give it a taste test. 
It's a bit hard. Real tough on the teeth. And that's why we're making a sugar-free version. I can feel the cavity starting to form. So we gotta move on. Bricks one and two are complete. So let's move on to brick number three. Now that we've discovered a sugar alternative that actually tastes sweet, it's time to add cavity safe flavor to the mix. Let's start the search. If you look at the label of most candy, including sour candy, they have one ingredient called citric acid. While this ingredient gives candy its sour punching flavor, it's one of the worst ingredients you can put in contact with your teeth. That's some serious flavor. This sour powder dissolves your teeth faster than normal sugar. Whoa! Whoa, where did it go? So in my quest to add flavor to my sugar-free candy, let's head to my favorite AI chatbot. Hey Google, help me find some flavoring that does not contain any cavity causing agents like citric acid, sugar, or malic acid. Stevia flavored sweetener without citric acid uses essential oils to replicate popular flavors. That sounds awesome, let's try it out. We got berry, grape, orange, lemon, and peppermint. With the flavors acquired, let's test them out. These are sweet leaf sweetener sweet drops. Flavored sweetener that won't harm your teeth, but also packs a punch of mouthwatering flavor. Whoa, that's super strong. It tastes like berry blast. This is exactly what I was looking for. With the flavor and sweetener acquired and the know wall about making Lego shaped candy, we can move on to brick number four. To make a cavity free hard pressed candy like this, you need powder, which we have, and a lot of compression. So let's add some flavor to the xylitol sweetener and add a couple drops of flavor to each batch so we can get cooking. We got peppermint, lemon, orange, grape, and lastly, berry. And that grape one smells incredible. Next, we gotta mix all that flavor in. And just like that, your batter is complete. Now let's figure out how we're gonna press this into Lego form. And that's why we built this, a hydraulic tooth press designed to crush objects. With the use of this Lego mold and the pressure from this tooth press, let's see what we can build. With the flavored xylitol and some food coloring we added it to the lego mold now let's put it in the tooth press with the press of a button you can move the teeth up and down to crush objects let's see if the tooth press works oh ho, ho, look at that we have ourselves our first freshly pressed lego candy let's take it over to the studio to see if it tastes any good it's not perfect but honestly it turned out pretty good let's give it a taste kind of scared but let's give it a try oh my gosh that's some hard candy. Oh. Mmm. I'm not sure what exact flavor it is, but it's definitely fruity. It's got a wicked crunch, and it's really sweet. It kind of resembles real candy. Well, I approve of the flavor of this candy. Let's bring in Adriana and see what she thinks. Okay, Adriana, I got you Berry Blast homemade, cavity-free Lego candy. <laughs> Give it a try. It's a bit messy. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Is your tooth okay? Maybe. Tastes pretty good. It tastes like real candy? Yeah, I guess it does. Adriana approved. Hey. This candy is so hard, you can almost crack a tooth. And if you have braces, you can kiss those brackets goodbye. So we gotta fix that issue. So let's unlock brick number five and make it braces friendly. I don't remember getting braces. Unflavored gelatin. Make sure it's the unflavored version or else it'll have sugar in it. And if you don't want to use gelatin, try this plant-based root powder. Pour it in a bowl. Add some hot water. Ugh. That's really hot. That was an absolute mess and I almost burned my arm. Let's try that again. Next, we got to add a little bit of hot water to the powder mix. Next, we got to stir it until there's no clump. Now it's time to add our flavor of choice. I'm gonna show you how to replicate glowberry. It's gonna be three parts mixed berry. One, two, three. Two parts lemon. One, two, and one part orange. Next, we gotta sweeten this up, so let's add the xylitol. Now that we have our perfect sugar-free candy mix, let's add it to our Lego mold. To color things up, we're gonna add one drop of food coloring to each Lego mold slot. Slowly and carefully transfer it into each Lego mold, filling it up to the top. Once you fill every single one of these Lego bricks, we're gonna put the top mold on and then put it in the fridge. Let it chill for about a half hour. With all the bricks filled and covered, let's add the top to give it that building texture. While those are chilling in the fridge, you know what time it is. We gotta get brushed, and so I bought these ultra rare limited edition Lego brick head toothbrushes. However, though, they're super expensive and they don't make them anymore. So I'm gonna show you how to make a super fun Lego toothbrush at home, and you don't even need a 3D printer. Grab yourself some Legos, grab yourself a toothbrush with replaceable bristle heads. Now let's customize the handle. And just like that, you have yourself a customized Lego brick handle toothbrush. Now let's add some bristles. 
My favorite part about this particular manual toothbrush is when you add the new bristle handles to it, it's kind of super satisfying. Click. I can play with it all day. And take a look at these bristles. They have a cross action jelly design. Hopefully they'll clean my teeth pretty well. And if you want to level your brush even further, you can check out these Lego bristle head covers. They even hold your toothbrush to the wall. It does the perfect job at covering doo-doo particles from landing on your toothbrush. And check out this suction cup on the back. Did my cavity free delicious Lego candy actually work? Okay, here they are. Three, two, one. Whoa, they stuck to the top. Whoa, they look so good. Believe it or not, this is indeed candy. It looks so real. You can see the rivets on the front. And they have the slots in the back so you can stack them up. They're super squishy and should be safe for my braces. Let's give it a try. Mm. This candy is so good and I can't believe it's cavity free. Mm. I've been eating this all day. Now it's time for the ultimate test, the pH test, to see if my candy is actually cavity free. This is the moment of truth and as you guys know, a value under five will cause cavity. It's a seven? <laughs> what? That means it passed. Let's go. My candy is actually cavity free, which means I can eat it all day and not get cavities. I'm so excited. Which means this is one of the first ever candies that's approved by a dentist. But it passed all the tests. Even though this candy doesn't cause cavities, you still got to brush two times a day for two minutes, once in the morning and once at night. So let's get brushing. Fat glob. Now that's one fat glob of toothpaste. And this is fat glob disclosing tablets the ultimate way to make brushing fun make sure to shop now on amazon or on fatlab.com if you want to give them yourself a try thank you fat Labs, for watching we'll see you in the next one as always smile on ciao